Hello everyone, it's Sega Sonic 52000 here, also known as Noza Studios, Chain Star TV, Tales Picks from Noza Studios. Um, so, welcome to my uh, movie room. Uh, I just got done rearranging my room a little bit. Um, didn't really go the way I planned. As uh, a matter of fact, this thing kind of got a little wobbly and decided to fall apart, so that's why, like, everything, and I mean everything, is, like, out of order. Um, I've only got, like, a handful of, like, DVDs that are currently, uh, that are literally currently in, um, in order. Um, like, I got the, right here, I got Rosario and Vampire, the collection set. Seasons 1 and 4 of Rocco. I got all the Scooby-Doo's. Oops, not those. All the Scooby-Doo's. They're all in order uh, alphabetically. Um, working on getting the entire series to Shalom Sesame. Um, but right now, I'm in a bit of a pickle because I need to get some more space. Which I plan on doing. Um, I found these things on... Uh, you, I've watched these videos on YouTube. Um, where they can make sm uh, smaller... Uh, little smaller spaces. For certain like films and uh, movies. And they work really well. Because I, I've uh, done that recently with... Excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to get to them. Ugh. Here this with my uh, video games how small they are and how much more room they oops <laughs> how much more like room they will make like looking at the Bugs Bunny one it looks like you fit like a couple more with it so like you got the sleeve and then on the inside I put the I put the like the game manual and the disc is inside in a nice paper sleeve nice and neat so I've been thinking about doing that maybe maybe you people have better ideas but I've got to do something with the space this this is unacceptable and I'm a bet a lot of movie collectors right now are like oh dear god what have you done I have violated a sacred art of movie collecting I have I'm, I'm not gonna lie um, I do have a lot of really good rare ones in my collection. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've got this right here. I got the Sterling Sonic Underground, the original VHS from uh, Sterling Entertainment, and I've actually got that one also. Uh, oh, there it is, right there. I've also got that one right here on DVD as well. And this one actually comes with a bonus episode of the Super Mario Brothers. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show. But what's the disappointment with that is... Uh, well, it's um, only the cartoon. It doesn't come with the the scenes with Captain Lou Albano and Danny Wells. But we also got, I've also got uh, I've got almost all the Sonic DVDs. I'm missing I think one or two. That's um just Sonic the Hedgehog and Adventures of Sonic and Sonic um no Sonic Sat AM, Sonic Boom, and Sonic Underground and the OVA and X. The Adventures ones I don't know if you can see them, but they're way up there. But I'm hoping if I do this plan, it will make things a little bit easier. But like I said, I'm only going to do it with certain ones. Like box sets aren't going to get this treatment and stuff like that. But I'm hoping that with this project, uh, maybe it will save some room. I'm going to only do it with a handful of certain movies for now. Like maybe I'll even just start with this row right here and work my way up. Like obviously the, obviously the Flintstones will just stay right here. But, um, but yeah, that's like literally the best I'm going to be able to do. I've got to figure out some way. You guys got any ideas? Give us uh, give us some uh, comments. And hopefully we'll uh, have another video ready for you in the near future. Alright, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this preview. Just go a little ways around the movies for just a second. Just so you can see what I've got. And hopefully in the near future I will take some time out. And I can uh, like show you some of the... 
the cool stuff that I have here. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.